Water will guide us, but before we go, does something feel strange to you? The Order of Truth, one of the main pillars of the Volgus army, is under attack. Why haven't any of the other legions shown up to defend it? No matter how far this place is from the other legion-occupied zones, it's highly suspicious there hasn't been any support. Do you think it's because of the solid defense line our forces built? Although we've deployed a lot of troops to guard the Ironheart, the enemy hasn't taken the opportunity to launch any counterattacks. And we still haven't figured out why the number of Volgus forces have dropped so rapidly. If they have a hatchery, shouldn't their troops be increasing? Oh, this is giving me a bad feeling in so many ways. It feels like the inside of my suit is boiling. I hope nothing has happened to the Medical Corps members. Mina, Ash, this is Medical Corps Captain Eugen. Please respond. Ben, <laughs> Ribbon. Jay, please respond. Let's look for them, Eugen. First, let's investigate if there's anything suspicious about the movements of the Volgus forces. <laughs> the traces of my missing core members are leading us inside. And the organic matter raw material boxes also continue down this way. Bobby, infiltrate first, then recon inside. Looks like there are ambushes lurking everywhere. Best to be cautious. This facility has been arranged is pretty impressive. There's no way we would have learned beforehand that it was on the ground. That object is being used to combine Volga's DNA and organic matter. Destroy it, so they can never use it again. Alright, head to the place. 
place Valby mentioned and see what you can find. I need to stay here and confirm there's nothing significant to report.
Keep searching for traces of transported human DNA and large amounts of organic matter. Reload! Be careful! An alarm must have gone off somewhere! Initiating broadcast of communications through the descendants of sea. Captain! Captain! I don't want to die like this! Riven? Where are you? How about the others? <laughs> We're all together. All together. I'm on my way. Hang in there. There's something even bigger underneath the hatchery. Interference has cleared up, and I've located the last comms from the team. And there is a very strong vulgar signal coming from that direction. Damn it. I refuse to let them die in a place like this. They mean too much to me. I promise I'll be on my best behavior. I need your help. My people, can you help me rescue them? It's not about can or cannot. It's a must do. We promised we'd all return together, remember? Yeah, and I'm going to keep that promise. No matter what.
This is Eugen. All medical corps members, please respond. I'll go to the location of my team member's signal. You take care of the enemy. Affirmative. I'll follow the Volga signal coming from the opposite direction. By the way, what the hell is this place? It's covered in bio-tissue. Everywhere. The cell composition of the bio-tissue is all like the organic matter from the hatchery. But the cells also seem to be rapidly and excessively dividing. Put it in human terms, it's like a malignant tumor. Would that have any impact on our operations? There is. <laughs> the hatchery on the upper left prevents these malignant tumors from falling. There is evidence of this being placed in solar production. However, if the production was fully removed and the organic matter was cultivated in capacity, then these types of malignant tumors could rapidly. Bread. In other words, there is a high possibility that the Volgas produced an immense number of troops all at once in this facility. We should gather as much info about this as we can. Descendant Squad, do you copy? We can no longer detect an RK signal from the surface. Please report your status. HQ, we've discovered a bio facility in the Order's main base all the ships on a large scale. We're investigating it. We've also located the missing medical corps members. Copy. Copy. RK signal. HQ. Do you copy? We're so deep underground the comms link is unstable. We should get this mission over with quickly, so we have time to give up the form. your family soon. So much you'll be sick of them. Don't give up. <laughs> Out of my way. Ugh, damn it. Out of the way, you bastards. If the door in the passageway is closed, look for red liquid nearby. It's a device that should only read all this biodata, but it looks like it's unable to identify between friend or foe because of the tumors. Just putting your foot in the door will open it. know how to disable the traps. I'm sorry. I'm not a member of the Order of Truth. Looks like I'll just have to step in there, <laughs> even if it is possible. Eugene, I think this door connects to that side. 
But it won't budge. How did you open it? There should be a security device in front of the door. Shooting it should do the trick. More importantly, why is nobody responding? Mina, Vince, <laughs> everyone, please, respond. Remember your 
your final destination. Capture the remaining Prime Hands. All our hearts are within range. When the three parts converge into one, my conquest will be complete. Raise your weapons. Drown the enemy in fear. Ready, please assemble at HQ. I did wonder where all the manufactured Volgus went, but I never expected them to be battle ready this quickly. No matter how solid our defense line is at the White Knight Gulch against a force that large, we won't be able to protect the Ironheart. And because they've divided their forces, Albion is under threat as well. This is why the Volgus pulled their forces back from the White Knight Gulch to make us lower our guard, and to lure us into the White Knight Gulch with the Ironheart. We should head back to HQ. I'll take Dr. Han to the Medical Corps. Don't worry, I don't need any help. When I got him on his feet earlier, he wasn't heavy. He really is just like paper. I could probably carry him around, he's so light. Did you know that Eugen can't use his RK abilities on himself? He sacrifices so much for his teammates, and he can't even heal his own heart. I feel so bad for him. But I know he'll be fine. He has you and me, after all. His partners in arms. Don't worry about him. Let's head back. I'll see you soon. That's a promise. This is HQ. Again, all zones in Albion are on high alert. Any descendants who are operation ready should meet at HQ. We also need descendants as the void zone. Classification type, pyromania. This is a very stubborn colossus. Do you think that strategic planning is descendants? Corel's fleet has begun its approach. The predicted attack targets are the White Knight Gulch, where the Iron Heart is located, and Albion. HQ's predictions of the numbers of remaining Volgus forces have been completely inaccurate. <sighs> to mass produce that many troops so quickly. Corel lured us into a false sense of victory, then used that to bring the Iron Heart into the Volgus' orbit. Also, after the phenomenon of the light beams near the Hagios, the dimensional wall has been weakening at an alarming speed. No idea. The closure of the dimensional wall and this diametrically opposite phenomenon. This might be due to the inversion that Corel spoke of. We're already seeing the Colossi being affected. Descendants, for now, please prepare for an intercept battle. According to Seneca's report, the pyromaniac Colossi are approaching Ingress. This truly is the worst case scenario. First Corral's fleet, and now the Colossi? Do you need information about the Colossi?
you need information? The intercept of the pyromaniac has been confirmed. Job well done, Descendant. However, given the current state of the dimensional wall, we do not know what Colossus will surface the next time, or when. Humankind must choose whether to engage in an all-out pointless war against Corral's great army, or face equally immense colossi, which will appear as soon as the dimensional wall disappears. Strategy, tactics, troop numbers. We're at an overwhelming disadvantage in all aspects. No idea how happy I am. If things continue like this, humanity really will. We can't give up yet, Mel. We have one final option. Alpha? Got a question about the operation? As all of you know, the situation we find ourselves in seems pretty dire. Due to my lack of sound judgment, I fell for Corel's trap. The Ironheart, which I considered to be our only hope, turned out not to be the key to our salvation after all. If we had used the Ironheart in Albion as I stubbornly insisted, I dread to think what would have happened. This situation is one I created. I am solely to blame. Yes, I am the descendant who was always defeated. That is likely why I was never able to link with the Guide. I should never have become Commander. However, if there was someone who could heed the true calling of the Descendants, then I would let go of everything I have believed in up until now, and put my trust in them. Everyone, I am ordering the destruction of the Ironheart. I will deal with the Magisters. I believe they wouldn't be able to survive without us anyway. Descendants, you need to work with the Guide and carry out any and all necessary operations to destroy the Ironheart. No need to wait for approval from HQ. Just make sure you are as victorious in this as you always are. I'm sure that you will be, as you always have been. I place my trust in you, Descendant. Command, we must move quickly. We need to support the Descendants and stop the Vulgus at all costs. Descendants, I have heard Alpha's message. I am sorry I'm unable to directly communicate with him. Come with me, Descendants. It is our turn now. Descendants, we are close to achieving our true target. However, as Alpha said, the situation is dire. We must hurry. First, it would be wise to move the Ironheart in the White Knight Gulch to Albion. Albion has put in place defensive measures to counter Vulgus battleships. We should also be able to access the energy required to destroy the Ironheart. But we need an immense amount of RK to detach an Ironheart which is linked to a Prime Hands. For this reason, most of the descendants must be sent to aid the detachment. For you, however, I have a different request. Descendant, come with me to where the phenomenon known as the Pillar of Light occurred. When that pillar of light took effect, as well as the energy of the Iron Heart, I felt a familiar kind of pain, as if my skin was peeling and my flesh was melting. There must be an inverted Iron Heart there. Corel would have connected it to a prime hands in order to collapse the dimensional wall. We must stop this before the dimensional wall is completely destroyed. We must retrieve the inverted Iron Heart. If we fail to do so, even if the Ironheart is immediately moved to Albion, countless colossi will appear throughout Ingress. However, if we take back the inverted Ironheart, the destruction of the dimensional wall will be stopped, and Corel's advance will be delayed. I will deliver the mission to detach the Ironheart to the other descendants. Please go now, to the place where the Pillar of Light was. I will meet you there. Descendant. Guys, this is Jaber. I've been dispatched to the Hagios. I'm investigating intel that Aemon, the General of the Legion of Immortality, was recently here. 
I don't think Heyman appearing at this point in time is a coincidence.